Hey, what's up? In this edit, I'm going to show how you can make your clips look like they're playing from a TV. First thing you need to do is get your clips in your timeline. So I've got a few clips here in my timeline. So if you want the old TV look, you want to put a bit of static between the transition of the clips. You can get a transition, you can get the static transition, and you can just drag that on between your clips. And I'll just play that back. So there's the transition. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. Um, another way you can do it, I'll just do it to the first two clips here. You can use the um, bad TV effect. So if you just go into effects, bad TV comes up here. Now, because this isn't a transition, it's an effect, um, you have a few more options with this. What you have to do is you have to cut the your clips up. So I'm just going to go to the end of this clip and uh, go in a little bit and then Command B and, and cut it. So now I've got a clip here. Then you can just drag that bad TV onto that one there. If you're using this, you just have a few more options. If you open the inspector, you've got the amount, so you can change the amount of the um, static and everything. And you also have the static type um, and like the roll. So you can also do intro and outro. So I'm just going to put a bad TV effect on the outro and the intro. It'll transition between the two clips. First two are the bad TV um, effect, and then these are the static transition. So it's up to you what you want to use. Um, the, obviously the transition is a lot faster, but then really this isn't too hard to do either, and you have a few more options. Once you have your clips that you want to use, best way to do it is to just highlight them all and create a new compound clip. Okay, so that just creates one clip now. And then what you need to do is you need to get the TV. So I'm just using this picture here that I found on the internet. It's a 4K project, then you want to get a, a really high resolution picture. Um, so this is a, like 4K um, resolution. So when you do, say you do want to zoom in, um, then you've got real good high, high quality. Just keep that in mind when you pick your picture. First thing you need to do to get your... Um, your clips playing in the TV here. It's pretty simple, you just use the draw mask. The draw mask effect, you just drag that onto your um, TV clip. And then you just need to use the control points. So I'm just gonna zoom in, makes it a bit easier. Okay, and you just need to create control points around the TV. You've drawn the mask and now all you can see is just the, the screen of the TV. Um, easy fix, you just have to go to the um, inspector here on the draw mask, um, all the settings here, and just invert the mask. So click that one there, and that inverts it. And you can see you've got your clips in the background. Because your clips are full scale, it doesn't look that good. So you have to rescale your clips. So you just have to click on your, your compound clip, and just go to transform and just drag it until it just fits in the screen and, and then make it uh, nice and central. You play that back, there's the basics already there. You, there's a few things you can do to improve it. I'm just gonna zoom in here. The mask here has got a few like sharp corners and everything. Um, if you just go into the mask settings, you can use the feather slider here and see how that feathers it. So I'm just gonna put a bit of negative feather on it um, and also you've got the fall off here. If you do need to adjust some of the control points, just click up here and it shows the mask and then just uh, drag the control points that you need to adjust and then I just click that and yeah, that looks pretty good. So that's the original there, so you got a bit of reflection there. So if you just reduce the um, opacity, then you'll be able to slowly in introduce that. So there, you can kind of see it there. Just gives it a bit more, I guess, realistic look. Uh, once you've done that, I'll just fit. So there's the basics right there. You can also add a few more effects to make it look a little bit cooler. Um, so you can transform it so you can like zoom into the, the um, TV. First thing, just click on the top clip onto your TV. Uh, and then you just want to go to the transform here. Click a keyframe there. I'm just going to zoom out. And then you need to just say I'll, I'll go to the end of the clip. And then I'm just going to drag this scale a little bit bigger, like that. And then just just drag 
the clip down a bit so that the TV is still in the frame. So now when I play that, it will slowly zoom into the TV. Um, you just want to also, um, with your compound clip or your clips that you're playing on the TV, you just want to do the same thing. So just transform, add a keyframe, head to the end of the clip. See down the bottom here, you're losing a bit of it out. So you just need to slowly just increase it a little bit. Change the color a bit. So say you want it to be black and white, just reduce the saturation. Now you've got a black and white TV. Also, because you've got some static, if you want to create some sound effects, if you go to the sound effects in Final Cut Pro and type in static, there's a few here. I'm just going to grab this one here. Then you want to look for where the static is. And then you can add um, static noises. So that's a quick insight into that cool technique. Um, if you like the video, then subscribe, like, or comment. Until next time, cheers.